Exam Rule the ISO 27001 Auditor Exam consists of 40 multiple choice questions. The time allowed for the exam is 1 hour 45 minutes. You must achieve 70% or more of all possible marks to pass. All questions should be attempted. Each multiple choice question has a number of possible answers, of which only one is the correct answer. The question paper includes five sections. Exam format. All lead auditor and auditor conversion online exams are structured as follows. Lead auditor exam. Exam duration. 1 hour 45 minutes. Exam Content Areas Section 1, Concepts and Principles of Management Standards and Systems 10 minutes, 6 questions Section 2, Audit Concepts and Auditor Responsibilities 10 minutes, 6 questions Section 3, Planning the Audit 10 minutes, 6 questions Section 4, Conducting the Audit 45 minutes 14 questions. Section 5, Reporting and Closing Out the Audit. Recommended time for each section, 30 minutes, 8 questions. Section 1. Question 1 Which two of the following statements are true? Options are. Option 1 As part of a certification body audit, the auditor is responsible for verifying organization legal compliance status. Option 2, during a third-party audit, the AUDIT evaluates how the organization ensure that it is made aware of changes to legal requirements. Option 3, the role of certification body auditors involves evaluating the organization's process for ensuring compliance with their legal requirements. Correct answer is option 1 and option 2. Let's go to next question. Question 2, select the word that best completes the sentence. Purpose of retaining documented information is to Conformity with the requirements of a management standards. Options are Audit Certify Demonstrate Maintain Demonstrate is best suitable word which will complete above sentence. Question 3. Which three of the following options do not participate in a first-party audit? Options are Option 1. An audit team from an accreditation body. Option 2. An auditor trained in the organization. Option 3, Auditor employed by an external consultancy company. Option 4, An auditor certified by CQI and IRCA. Option 5, An audit team from a customer. Option 6, A certification body auditor. Option 7, An auditor trained in the CQI and IRCA scheme. Correct answer is option 3 auditor employed by an external consultancy company, option 4 an auditor certified by CQI and IRC and options 5 an audit team from a customer. Question 4, which three of the following phrases would apply to check in the plan to check act cycle for a business process? Options are Option 1, making improvements. Option 2, managing changes. Option 3, verifying training. Option 4, auditing processes. Option 5, resetting objectives. Option 6, measuring objectives. Correct answer are option 3, verifying training. Option 4 Auditing Processes Option 6 Measuring Objectives Question 5 
Please match the following situations to the type of audit required. Question 6. Which two of following phrases would apply to audit objectives? Option 1. Audit duration. Option 2. Auditor competence. Option 3. Checking legal compliance. Option 4. Determining conformity. Option 5. Identify opportunity for improvement if required. Option 6. Revise management policy. Correct answer is option 4 determining conformity and option 5 identify opportunity for improvement if required. Question 7. An audit team leader prepares the audit plan for an initial stage 2 certification audit. Which one of the following statements is true? Options are. Option 1. The audit team leader must select a team member with health and safety experience. Option 2. The organization must cancel all staff leave during the audit. Option 3. The organization must provide hospitality for the audit team. Option 4. The organization must review the audit plan for agreement. Correct answer is option 4. The organization must review the audit plan for agreement. Question 8. You are the person responsible for managing the audit program and deciding the size and composition of audit team for specific audit. Select the two option which you will focus for deciding size and composition of audit team. Options are. Option 1. Customer relationships. Option 2. Seniority of the audit team leader. Option 3 The audit scope and criteria. Option 4 The cost of the audit. Option 5 The duration preferred by the Audi T. Option 6 The overall competence of the audit team needed to achieve audit objectives. Correct answers are Option 3 The audit scope and criteria and Option 6 The overall competence of the audit team needed to achieve audit objectives. Question 9. Auditor competence is combination of knowledge and skill. Which two of the following activities are predominantly related to knowledge? Options are. Option 1. Communicate with the Audi T. Option 2. Designing a checklist. Option 3. Determining how to seek evidence from the Audi T. Option 4. Determining what evidence to gather. Option 5. Follow an audit trail deviating from the prepared checklist. Option 6. Understanding how to identify findings. Correct answer is option 2. Designing a checklist and option 4. Determining what evidence to gather. Question 10. Which two of the following options are an advantage of using a sampling plan for the audit? Options are. Option 1. Gives confidence in audit results. Option 2. Implement audit plan efficiently. Option 3. Overrule the auditor instincts. Option 4. Prevent conflict within the audit team. Option 5. Reduce the audit duration. Option 6. Use of the plan for consecutive audit. Correct answer are option 1 gives confidence in audit results. And option 5 reduce the audit duration. Question 11. 
in the context of a third-party certification audit, which four options state the management responsibilities of the audit team leader in managing the audit and the audit team? Options are Option 1, chairing the audit opening and audit closing meeting. Option 2, preparing the audit nonconformity reports. Option 3, holding the audit team meeting. Option 4 – Issuing the Management System Certificate Option 5 – Auditing Top Management Option 6 – Establishing Contact with the Audi T Option 7 – Selecting the Audit Team Option 8 – Adopting a Risk-Based Approach to Planning the Audit Correct answers are Option 1 – Chairing the Audit Opening and Audit Closing Meeting Option 3 – Holding the Audit Team Meeting Option 6 Establishing contact with the Audi T and Option 7 Selecting the audit team. Question 12. Which one of the following options best describes the purpose of a Stage 2 audit? Options are Options 1. To learn about the competences of the organization's personnel. Option 2, to ensure that the audit plan is carried out. Option 3, to introduce the audit team to the client at an opening meeting. Option 4, to get to know the organization's processes. Option 5, to check for legal compliance by the organization. Option 6, to evaluate the implementation of the management system. Correct answer is option 6 to evaluate the implementation of the management system. Section 3 Question 13 Auditors need to communicate effectively with Audi T's. Therefore, their personal behavior is a key characteristic needed to ensure a successful audit. Match below characteristics to the descriptions. Question 14. Which three of the following phrases are objectives in relation to an audit? Options are Option 1. Complete audit on time. Option 2. Confirm the scope of the management system. Option 3. International standard. Option 4. Regulatory requirements. Option 5. Management policy. Option 6. Identify opportunities for improvement. Correct answer are Option 2. Confirm the scope of the management system, Option 4. Regulatory requirements and Option 6. Identify opportunities for improvement. Question 15. Match the correct responsibility with each participant of a second-party audit. Question 16. During discussions with the individuals managing the surveillance audit program of a certification body, 
as there are no big changes in the certificated management system, the management system representative of the client organization asks for a reduction of the audit time for the surveillance audit. Select two of the following options for how the individuals managing the audit program should respond. Options are Options 1, advise that this can only be agreed upon if the Audi T covers any additional costs. Option 2, advise the management system representative that his request can be accepted. Option 3 suggests that the management system representative chooses another certification body. Option 4, suggest asking the certification body management to permit the request. Option 5, advise the management system representative that the audit time calculation is a decision for the individuals managing the audit program based on specified criteria. The correct answer are option 2 and option 5. Question 17. Select the words that best complete the sentence below to describe a third-party audit plan. An audit plan is a of the intent of the audit team to all areas of the company with a view to determine approval. Options are Report Statement Recommendation Permit Question Verdict Inspect. Assess. Flowchart. The correct option is statement and inspect. Question 18. Review the following statements and determine which three are false. Options are. Option 1, auditors approved for conducting on-site audits do not require additional training for virtual audits, as there are no significant differences in the skill set required. Option 2, due to confidentiality and security concerns, screen sharing during a virtual audit is the only method by which the audit team can review the auditee's documentation. Option 3, Conducting a technology check in advance of a virtual audit can improve the effectiveness and efficiency of the audit. Option for the number of days assigned to a third-party audit is determined by the auditee's availability. Option 5. The selection of on-site, virtual or combination audits should take into consideration historical performance and previous audit results. Option 6. During a virtual audit, Audits participating in interviews are strongly recommended to keep their webcam enabled. Correct answers are option 1, option 2 and option 4. Question 19. During discussions with the individuals managing the audit program of a certification body, the management system representative of the client organization asks for a specific auditor for certification audit. Select two of the following options for how the individuals managing the audit program should respond. Options are Option 1, suggest asking the certification body management to permit the request. Option 2, Suggest that the management system representative chooses another certification body. Option 3. Advise the management system representative that the audit team selection is a decision that the audit program manager needs to make based on the resources available. Option 4. Advise the management system representative that his request can be accepted. Option 5. State that his request will be considered but may not be taken up. Correct options are option 1 suggest asking the certification body management to permit the request and option 3 advise the management system representative that the audit team selection is a decision that the audit program manager needs to make based on the resources available. Question 20. 
you are an experienced ISMS internal auditor. You have just completed a scheduled information security audit of your organization when the IT manager approaches you and asks for your assistance in the revision of the company's statement of applicability. The IT manager is attempting to update the ISO slash IEC 27001-2013 based statement of applicability to a statement aligned to the four control themes present in ISO slash IEC 27001-2022, organizational controls, people controls, physical controls, technical controls. The IT manager is happy with their reassignment of controls, with the following exceptions. He asks you which of the four control categories each of the following should appear under. How would you respond? Match the control description to the category. Question 21. You are an experienced ISMS audit team leader conducting a third-party surveillance visit. You notice that although the Audi T is claiming conformity with ISO slash IEC 27001 2022 they are still referring to improvement as Clause 10.2, as it was in the 2013 edition, when this is now Clause 10.1 in the 2022 edition. You have confirmed they are meeting all of the 2022 requirements set out in the standard. Select one option of the action you should take. Option 1 Bring the matter up at the closing meeting. Option 2 Raise it as an opportunity for improvement. Option 3 Mention it to the guide. Option 4 Agree on a timescale for the correction and make a note to review the correction at the next audit. Option 5 Note the issue in the audit report. Option 6 Take no action. Option 7 Raise a nonconformity against Clause 7.5.3, Control of Documented Information. Correct answer is option 4 agree on a timescale for the correction and make a note to review the correction at the next audit. Question 22 You are an experienced audit team leader guiding an auditor in training. Your team is currently conducting a third-party surveillance audit of an organization that stores data on behalf of external clients. The auditor in training has been tasked with reviewing the organizational controls listed in the Statement of Applicability, SOA, and implement at the site. Select four controls from the following that would you expect the auditor in training to review. Option 1 The development and maintenance of an information asset inventory. Option 2 Access to and from the loading bay. Option 3 Remote working arrangements. Option 4 Confidentiality and Non-Disclosure Agreements Option 5 How Power and Data Cables Enter the Building Option 6 The Organization's Business Continuity Arrangements Option 7 The Conducting of Verification Checks on Personnel Option 8 The Organization's Arrangements for Maintaining Equipment Option 9 Rules for transferring information within the organization and to other organizations. Option 10 How access to source code and development tools are managed. Option 11 How the organization evaluates its exposure to technical vulnerabilities. Option 12 Information security awareness, education, and training. Option 13 The organization's arrangements for information deletion. Option 14 How information security has been addressed within supplier agreements. Option 15 The operation of the site CCTV and door control systems. Correct answer is option 1, option 6, option 9, and option 14.
Question 23 You are a certification body auditor, conducting a surveillance audit to ISO slash IEC 27001 2022 of a data center operated by a client who provides hosting services of ICT facilities. You and your guide are currently in one of the private suites which the client rents out to customers. Access to each suite is controlled using a combination lock. CCTV is also installed in every suite. Within each suite are three data cabinets in which the client can locate mission-critical servers and other items of networking equipment such as switches and routers. You notice that whilst two of the cabinets in your suite are locked, the third is unlocked. You ask the guide why. They reply, this is because the client is currently swapping out a hard drive unit. Their technician is currently on a lunch break. What three actions should you undertake next? Options are. Option 1, do nothing. The room is adequately protected and there is no evidence that a security incident has taken place. Option 2 Raise an opportunity for improvement of security by suggesting cabinet doors are locked whenever clients leave their suites, even if they intend to return within a short time. Option 3 With the permission of the guide, speak to the client to confirm that they are in the process of swapping out a drive. Option 4 Raise a nonconformity against Control 7.2 physical entry as the client's equipment has been left accessible to third parties. Option 5. Review the CCTV records to ensure that only the client has accessed the cabinet since it was last confirmed as locked. Option 6. Raise a nonconformity against Control 5.16 Identity Management as it may not be possible to identify who left the cabinet unlocked. Option 7 Raise a nonconformity against Control 7.8 Equipment Siting and Protection as the client's equipment has been left unprotected. Option 8 Require the guide to close and lock the cabinet before you leave the suite. Correct answer is Option 2, Option 3 and Option 5. Question 24 you are an experienced ISMS auditor conducting a third-party surveillance audit at an organization which offers ICT reclamation services. ICT equipment which companies no longer require is processed by the organization. IT is either recommissioned and reused or is securely destroyed. You notice two servers on a bench in the corner of the room. Both have stickers on them with the server's name, IP address, and admin password. You ask the ICT manager about them, and he tells you they were part of shipment received yesterday from a regular customer. Which one should you take? Option R. Option 1. Note the audit finding and check the prevalence of customer IT security information on incoming shipments. Option 2 Raise a nonconformity against Control 5.33 Protection of Records Records shall be protected from loss, destruction, falsification, unauthorized access, and unauthorized release. Option 3 Record what you have seen in your audit findings, but take no further action. Option 4 Raise a nonconformity against Control 8.20 Network Security Networks and network devices shall be secured, managed, and controlled to protect information in systems and applications. Option 5 Simply remove the labels, then carry on with the audit. Option 6 Ask the ICT manager to record an information security incident and initiate the information security incident management process. The correct answer is Option 2. Question 25. Review the following statements and determine which two are false. 1. Auditors approved for conducting on-site audits do not require additional training for virtual audits, 
as there are no significant differences in the skill set required. 2. Conducting a technology check in advance of a virtual audit can improve the effectiveness and efficiency of the audit. 3. Due to confidentiality and security concerns, screen sharing during a virtual audit is one method by which the audit team can review the auditee's documentation. 4. During a virtual audit, auditees participating in interviews are strongly recommended to keep their webcam enabled. 5. The number of days assigned to a third-party audit is determined by the auditee's availability. 6. The selection of on-site, virtual or combination audits should take into consideration historical performance and previous audit results. Correct options are option 1 and option 5. Question 26 You are performing an ISMS audit at a European-based residential nursing home called ABC that provides healthcare services. You find all nursing home residents wear an electronic wristband for monitoring their location, heartbeat, and blood pressure always. You learn that the electronic wristband automatically uploads AI data to the artificial intelligence, AI, cloud server for healthcare monitoring and analysis by healthcare staff. The next step in your audit plan is to verify that the information security policy and objectives have been established by top management. During the audit, you found the following audit evidence. Match the audit evidence to the corresponding requirements of ISO slash IEC 27001 Question 27 You are performing an ISMS audit at a European-based residential nursing home called ABC that provides healthcare services. You find all nursing home residents wear an electronic wristband for monitoring their location, heartbeat, and blood pressure always. You learn that the electronic wristband automatically uploads AL data to the artificial intelligence, AI, Cloud Server for Healthcare Monitoring and Analysis by Healthcare Staff. To verify the scope of ISMS, you interview the Management System Representative, MSR, who explains that the ISMS scope covers an outsourced data center. Select one option of the correct statement which defines the content of the scope of the ISMS. Option 1 The ISMS scope should cover external service providers because they can have compliance difficulties with the information security policy and requirements. Option 2 The ISMS scope should take any information security issues that have occurred and any interested parties' requirements into consideration. Option 3 The most likely ISMS scope is to cover the IT department and the outsourced data center. Option 4. The organization should only follow the government's recommendation, i.e., legal and legislation to define the ISMS scope. Correct answer is option 3. The most likely ISMS scope is to cover the IT department and the outsourced data center. Question 28. You are performing an ISMS audit at a residential nursing home that provides healthcare services. The next step in your audit plan is to verify the information security incident management process. The IT security manager presents the information security incident management procedure, document reference ID, ISMS underscore 12 underscore 16, version 4, 
and explains that the process is based on ISO slash IEC 27035 to 116. You review the document and notice a statement any information security weakness, event, and incident should be reported to the point of contact, POC, within one hour after identification. When interviewing staff, you found that there were differences in the understanding of the meaning of weakness, event, and incident. The IT security manager explained that an online information security handling training seminar was conducted six months ago. All of the interviewed persons participated in and passed the reporting exercise and course assessment. You are preparing the audit findings. Select two options that are correct. Option R. Option 1. There is a nonconformity, NC. The information security incident training has failed. This is not conforming with Clause 7.2 and Control A.6.3. Option 2 There is a nonconformity, NC. The terminology of the incident management reporting process is unclear as evidenced by staff misunderstanding of the meaning of weakness, event, and incident. This is not conforming with Clause 9.1 and Control A.5.24. Option 3 There is an opportunity for improvement, OFI. The information security incident training effectiveness can be improved. This is relevant to Clause 7.2 and Control A.6.3. Option 4 There is an opportunity for improvement, OFI. The information security weaknesses, events, and incidents are reported. This is relevant to Clause 9.1 and Control A.5.24. Option 5 There is no nonconformance. The information security handling training has been effective. This conforms with Clause 7.2 and Control A.6.3. Option 6 There is no nonconformance. The information security weaknesses, events, and incidents are reported. This conforms with Clause 9.1 and Control A.5.24. The correct answer are option 2 and option 3. Question 29. You are performing an 1 SMS audit at a European-based residential nursing home called ABC that provides healthcare services. You find all nursing home residents wear an electronic wristband for monitoring their location, heartbeat, and blood pressure always. You learn that the electronic wristband automatically uploads AL data to the artificial intelligence AI, cloud server for healthcare monitoring and analysis by healthcare staff. To verify the scope of ISMS, you interview the management system representative, MSR, who explains that the ISMS scope covers an outsourced data center. Select four options for the clauses and or controls of ISO slash IEC 27001-2022 that are directly relevant to the verification of the scope of the ISMS. Options are Option 1, Clause 4.1 Understanding the Organization and its Context Option 2 Clause 4.2 Understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties. Option 3 Clause 4.3 Determining the scope of the information security management system. Option 4 Clause 5.2 Policy. Option 5 Control 5.3 Legal, Statutory, Regulatory and Contractual Requirements. Option 6 Control 5.3 Organizational Roles, Responsibilities and Authorities. Option 7 Control 6.3 Information Security Awareness, Education, and Training. Option 8 Control 7.6 Working in Secure Areas. 
The correct answer are option 1 clause 4.1 understanding the organization and its context, option 2 clause 4.2 understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties, option 3 clause 4.3 determining the scope of the information security management system and option 5 control 5.3 legal, statutory, regulatory, and contractual requirements. Question 30. You are an experienced ISMS audit team leader providing guidance to an auditor in training. The auditor in training appears to be confused about the interpretation of competence in ISO 27001-2022 and is seeking clarification from you that his understanding which of these you would attribute to a lack of competence. Select four correct options. Options are Option 1, a data center operator inadvertently placed a backup tape into an incorrect drive because they were in a hurry to move on to another task. Option 2, a new starter was unable to switch on CCTV monitoring because they had not been shown how to do this. Option 3 A senior manager could not assist in the organization's information security incident recovery process as she had not received the required training. Option 4 A senior programmer did not check their coding for errors as they were running late for a doctor's appointment. Option 5 A system administrator deleted two live accounts as well as five redundant accounts as a result of receiving an incorrect instruction. Option 6. An employee recently transferred from the IT networks team to software development was unaware of the need to complete product release forms prior to ship. Option 7. An experienced receptionist allowed a contractor she recognized to enter the data center without his access card. Option 8. An IT technician failed to configure a new model of server correctly as a result of not reading the supplied instructions. The correct answer is option 2, option 3, option 6 and option 8. Question 31. You are performing an ISMS audit at a European-based residential nursing home called ABC that provides healthcare services. You find all nursing home residents wear an electronic wristband for monitoring their location, heartbeat, and blood pressure always. You learn that the electronic wristband automatically uploads AL data to the Artificial Intelligence AI, cloud server for healthcare monitoring and analysis by healthcare staff. To verify the scope of ISMS, you interview the Management System Representative MSR, who explains that the ISMS scope covers an outsourced data center. Select three options for the audit evidence you need to find to verify the scope of the ISMS. Options are Option 1. The Audi T has identified the governmental authorities' needs and expectations on healthcare services and patient data handling. Option minus 2 The Audi T has identified the resident's needs and expectations on healthcare medical treatment services. Option 3 The Audi T has identified the resident's needs and expectations on the comfort facility, medical professional's competence, and clean environment. Option 4 The Audi T has identified the resident's needs and expectations on the facility and environmental safety. Option 5 The Audi T has identified the resident's needs and expectations on how they should protect the resident's personal data. Option 6 The Audi T has ISO 9001 certification. Option 7 The Audi T is considering the purchase of a healthcare monitoring app from an external software company. Option 8 The IT service agreement with the data center where the artificial intelligence, AI, cloud server is located. Correct answer are option 1, option 5, and option 8. Question 32. You are performing an ISMS audit at a residential nursing home that provides healthcare services. 
The next step in your audit plan is to verify that the Statement of Applicability, SOA, contains the necessary controls. You review the latest SOA, version 5, document, sampling the access control to the source code, A.8.4, and want to know how the organization secures ABC's healthcare mobile app source code received from an outsourced software developer. The IT security manager explains the received source code will be checked into the SCM system to make sure of its integrity and security. Only authorized users will be able to check out the software to update it. Both check-in and check-out activities will be logged by the system automatically. The version control is managed by the system automatically. You found a total of 10 user accounts on the SCM. All of them are from the IT department. You further check with the human resource manager and confirm that one of the users, Scott, resigned nine months ago. The SCM system administrator confirmed Scott's last checkout of the source code was found one month ago. He was using one of the authorized desktops from the local network in a secure area. You check with the user deregistration procedure which states, managers have to make sure of deregistration of the user account and authorization immediately from the relevant ICT system and or equipment after resignation approval. There was no deregistration record for user Scott. The IT security manager explains that Scott is a very good software engineer, an ex-colleague, and a friend. He still comes back to the office every month after he resigned to provide support on source code maintenance. That's why his account on SCM still exists. You would like to further investigate other areas to collect more audit evidence. Select three options that would not be valid audit trails. Options are Option 1 Collect more evidence from Scott's background verification checks performed by the Human Resource Department to make sure he has no bad intent. Relevant to Control A.6.1 Option 2 Collect more evidence of why Scott resigned and whether his re-engagement represents a conflict of interest. Relevant to Control A.5.3 Option 3 Collect more evidence on how Scott can access the employee's desktop and local network. Relevant to Control A.S.15. Option 4. Collect more evidence on how Scott can access the secure area. Relevant to Control A.8.4. Option 5. Collect more evidence on how the organization pays for Scott's source code maintenance support service. Relevant Control A.6.2 Option 6 Collect more evidence on where Scott kept the source code that he checked out and how it was secured. Relevant to Control A.8.4 The correct answer are Option 1, Option 2, and Option 5. Question 33 you are an ISMS audit team leader who has been assigned by your certification body to carry out a follow-up audit of a client. You are preparing your audit plan for this audit. Which four of the following statements are true? Option 1 Verification should focus on whether any action undertaken has been undertaken effectively. Option 2 the audit can take place even if the auditee's actions are incomplete. Option 3. Verification should focus on whether any action undertaken is complete. Option 4. Corrections should be verified first, followed by corrective actions and finally opportunities for improvement. Option 5. Corrective actions should be reviewed first, followed by corrections and finally opportunities for improvement. Option 6. What is reviewed and the order in which it is reviewed is not prescribed, it is subject to agreement between the individual managing the audit program and the audit. Option 7. Verification should focus on whether any action undertaken taken has been undertaken efficiently. 
Option 8, opportunities for improvement should be verified first, followed by corrections and finally corrective actions. The correct answer are option 1, option 3, option 4 and option 6. Question 34. You are an experienced ISMS audit team leader guiding an auditor in training. She asks you about the grading of nonconformities in audit reports. You decide to test her knowledge by asking her which four of the following statements are true. Options are. Option 1. Very minor nonconformities should be regraded as opportunities for improvement. Option 2. Nonconformities may be graded to indicate their significance. Option 3 major nonconformities may be subject to on-site follow-up. Option 4 irrespective of the grading system used, the action taken to address more significant nonconformities is typically more substantial than the action taken to address less significant nonconformities. Option 5 Several minor nonconformities can be grouped into a major nonconformity. Option 6. The Audi T is always responsible for determining the criteria for grading nonconformities. Option 7. Nonconformities must be graded using the terms major or minor. Option 8. The grading of nonconformities must be explained to the Audi T at the closing meeting. The correct answer are option 2. Option 3, Option 4, and Option 8. Question 35. Which two of the following are valid audit conclusions? 1. Corrective action was outstanding for two internal audits. 2. ISMS induction training does not provide guidance on malware prevention. 3. The ISMS policy has been effectively communicated to the organization. 4. The organization's ISMS objectives meet the requirements of ISO slash IEC 27001-2022. 5. The risk register had not been updated since June 202X. 6. The schedule of applicability was based on the 2013 edition of ISO slash IEC 27001, not the 2022 edition. The correct answer are 3. The ISMS policy has been effectively communicated to the organization and 4. The organization's ISMS objectives meet the requirements of ISO slash IEC 27001 2022. Question. 36. You are an ISMS audit team leader tasked with conducting a follow-up audit at a client's data center. Following two days on-site you conclude that of the original 12 minor and one major nonconformities that promoted follows-up audit, only one minor nonconformity still remains outstanding. Select four options for the actions you could take. Option 1 Advise the Audi T that you will arrange for the next audit to be an online audit to deal with the outstanding nonconformity Advise the individual managing the audit program of any decision taken regarding the outstanding nonconformity. Option 2 Agree with the Audi T slash audit client how the remaining nonconformity will be cleared, by when, and how its clearance will be verified. Option 3 Close the follow-up audit as the organization has demonstrated it is committed to clearing the nonconformities raised. Option 4 Conduct an unannounced follow-up audit on-site to review the one outstanding minor nonconformity once it has been cleared. Option 5 Note the progress made but hold the audit open until all corrective action has been cleared. Option 6 recommends suspension of the organization's certification as they have failed to implement the agreed corrections and corrective actions within the agreed timescale. Option 7 recommend that the outstanding minor nonconformity is dealt with at the next surveillance audit. The correct options are Option 2, Option 3, Option 5 and Option 7.
Question 37. You are an experienced ISMS audit team leader conducting a third-party surveillance audit of an internet services provider. You are reviewing the organization's risk assessment process for conformity with ISO slash IEC 27001 2022. Which three of the following audit findings would prompt you to raise a non-conformity report? Options are Option 1 Both systems contain additional information security risks which are not associated with preserving the confidentiality, integrity, and accessibility of information. Option 2 There is a different system in place for assessing operational information security risks and for assessing strategic information security risks. Option 3 The organization has assessed the probability of all of its information security risks as either 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. Option 4 The organization has not used RAG, red, amber, green, to classify its information security risks. Instead, it has used a smiling emoji a neutral face emoji and a sad face emoji. Option 5. The organization is treating information security risks in the order in which they are identified. Option 6. The organization's information security risk assessment process is based solely on an assessment of the impact of each risk. Option 7. The organization's risk assessment criteria have not been reviewed and approved by top management. Option 8. The organization's information security risk assessment process suggests each risk is allocated to a risk owner. The correct answer is option 1, option 7, and option 8. Question 38. You have to carry out a third-party virtual audit. Which two of the following issues would you need to inform the Audi T about before you start conducting the audit? 1. You will ask for a 360-degree view of the room where the audit is being carried out. 2. You expect the Audi T to have assessed all risks associated with online activities. 3. You will ask those being interviewed to state their name and position beforehand. For dot you will ask to see the ID card of the person that is on the screen. 5. Dot you will not record any part of the audit, unless permitted. 6. You will take photos of every person you interview. The correct answer are 1. You will ask for a 360 degree view of the room where the audit is being carried out. And 5. You will not record any part of the audit, unless permitted. Question 39. During a follow-up audit, you notice that a nonconformity identified for completion before the follow-up audit is still outstanding. Which four of the following actions should you take? Options are. Option 1. If the delay is unjustified advise the Audi T slash audit client and agree on remedial action. Option 2. Contact the individuals managing the audit program to seek their advice as to how to proceed. Option 3. Cancel the follow-up audit and return when an assurance has been received that the NC has been cleared. Option 4. Immediately raise an NC as the date for completion has been exceeded. Option 5. Report the failure. To address the NC to the organization's top management. Option 6. Decide whether the delay in addressing the NC is justified. Option 7. Note the NC is still outstanding and follow audit trails to determine why. Option 8. If the delay is justified agree on a revised date for clearing the NC with the Audi T slash audit client. The correct answer is option 1, option 4, option 7 and option 8. Question 40. 
During a third-party certification audit you are presented with a list of issues by an Audi T. Which four of the following constitute external issues in the context of a management system to ISO slash IEC 27001 2022? Options are 1. A rise in interest rates in response to high inflation. 2. Higher labor costs as a result of an aging population. 3. Poor morale as a result of staff holidays being reduced. 4. A fall in productivity linked to outdated production equipment. 5. Poor levels of staff competence as a result of cuts in training expenditure. 6. A reduction in grants as a result of a change in government policy. 7. Increased absenteeism as a result of poor management. 8. Inability to source raw materials due to government sanctions. The correct answer is option 1A rise in interest rates in response to high inflation, option 2 higher labor costs as a result of an aging population, option 6A reduction in grants as a result of a change in government policy and option 8 inability to source raw materials due to government sanctions.